Hey everyone, welcome back. Apple has just rolled out the first public beta of TVOS 26 and WatchOS 26 to users enrolled in its public beta testing program. These builds match the fourth developer beta released earlier this week. Anyone interested in testing the new features can sign up via Apple's beta software website and install the updates directly from the settings app on their Apple TV or Apple Watch. Both TVOS 26 and WatchOS 26 introduced Apple's sleek new liquid glass design also featured in macOS Tahoe and iOS 26. The updated aesthetic focuses on enhanced transparency, smooth animations, and rounded UI elements for a more fluid and modern interface. WatchOS 26 comes packed with features aimed at improving productivity, health, and communication. The standard addition is a worker body, an Apple intelligence feature designed to motivate and guide you through your fitness routines. What's more, the workout app has a refresh interface. The smart stack offers more useful and timely suggestions, and the messages app now supports live translation and improved smart replies. Popular phone app tools like call screening and hold assist have also made their way to the Apple Watch. Additionally, the Notes app has also been added, allowing you to create and view notes directly on your wrist. TVOS 26, on the other hand, enhances entertainment and smart home experiences. A new Apple Music Sync feature allows you to use your iPhone as a microphone, making karaoke sessions more interactive and fun-loving. There is also support for lyric, translation, and pronunciation tools. FaceTime now includes incoming call notifications and contact posters, while updated aerial screen savers add a fresh visual touch. Users can now set a specific AirPlay speaker as the default audio output for Apple TV. Although Vision OS 26 is not yet available for public beta testers, Apple has confirmed that participants will eventually be able to try the upcoming AirPods beta firmware, which includes new functionality. The HomePod 26 software is also set to be rolled out to testers in the near future.